So we got another question from, I'm just going down the list, from Tony. Thanks for your question, Tony. Often in rough vocal effects, we can hear and see on a spectrogram subharmonics, which indicate a certain periodicity of course there might still be random interharmonic noise and even in your examples we can hear clear intervals if we listen closely have you found any examples of ventricular or arytenoid effects where that is not the case so so you mean when it's like completely chaotic is that what you is that what that means that's a good question let me see if we can ask tony if he can clarify that can you clarify that a little bit tony for us Yes, I can try. So um, when we have distortion like A, we can usually hear an interval there, for example. Yeah. A. Can you hear the octave? And so, of course, there might be a bit of extra noise, but I would call that periodic. Well, there's both in the sound, right? Because you've got the, the A periodic and then you've got the, the periodic as well. But the majority, I mean, you can, you can sing under the distortion or you could have um, A periodic distortion. Yes, there might be like you might be able to pick out the odd sort of harmonic activity going on there, but it's predominantly in harmonic. Mm -hmm. in and uh, in, when people um, try to do, for example, Kagura throat singing, where mm. they want actually that undertone to mm. be perceived, they are relying on it to be periodic, right? So, yeah, so I'm not saying that in every rock distortion we do hear these intervals clearly. I guess in <laughs> most cool music, people don't care about subharmonics. Um, <laughs> but when I do, yeah, I don't hear noise. I hear two clear fundamentals, right? Yeah, it kind of depends because I mean, when you're talking about like throat singing, throat singing yeah. is slightly different because throat singing is when the the false folds are vibrating periodically as well. So then you get two. Um, tones essentially. You this get is two what tones. I was doing though at a higher range, right? Well, you mean what that was throat singing? Is that what you mean? It wasn't throat singing authentically, but this was ventricular yeah. folds coming together at half of the frequency, right? So I, I just mean yeah. that I, I think it's a bit too easy to say that every distortion technique is aperiodic. I think it can vary and I think it can be controlled to do, to be done in a periodic way. For most of these, except for, of course, like the, the total atonal white noise fry, of course. Yeah, totally. And I mean, yeah, because it's, it's possible to vibrate the, the false folds periodically and get that that like throat singing effect. So it all depends on how, how you're going with it. But obviously, when you're explaining to people like the basic effects, then it will confuse people by being like, oh, this is this. But, you know, they're also going to have a bit of this and a bit of this. Do you know what I mean? So it's Probably, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I do. I do confuse people a lot. But of course, <laughs> there will be, yeah. But of course, there will be variations. Like, but that it's like that in any singing activity. You know, there's always going to be kind of variations on effects. Well, thanks, Tony. That that's a great demonstration. Nice demonstration, and and thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, I I have to just say, you know, we we are all um, going to continue learning about this more and more, and unfortunately. There's never time to cover all the details. Um, <clears throat> but what I would like to do for all of you rockers out there is I would like, and I'm, this is going to happen, down the road we're going to have some really uh, more advanced level informational live streams and courses where we can get into the nitty nitty gritty. Um, but we can't, we can't do that. You know, without losing 95% of the audience, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's not an insult. It's just simply there's a lot of layers of learning. And there's a lot of things Zuren knows that I, have, I don't know and Aliki knows that I don't know. And, you know, we might be able to learn from each other. So we're going to, that's the mission of, of this live stream is just to continue to share knowledge so we all can, can grow together.